poffet. They're not light, and they're, they're, they're not light, and they're not small. So we're going to take it out the barrel. Okay. So what do you want? So we're going to load it side. Okay. We'll just slowly ease it out. So if you could, maybe if you could take take the tree and, take the tree and just give it to supply a bit of pressure on away from the pot. That's it. Okay. Now bring it up right again. Okay. So now let's bring it over to the water. This is really a two-man job because it's going to get very heavy. So out the pot. Now over to the hole. There we go. Okay. Right, good job. Uh, so we little dunk like that, eh? That's all it needs. Well, look how much water's left in the bucket. We lost a bit out the side. But hopefully that nice amount of it's gone into the tree as well. Awesome. Okay. So why sequoia trees? Why is it you've chosen sequoia trees? Um, it, it all started when we, uh, when I was researching planting sequoia trees for my family. So my wife and two kids, I thought, oh, I'd, you know what I'd like to do? These wonderful natural wonders. I'd like to plant at least four of them at home, one for each kid, one for my wife and I, and have them there, watch them grow, you know, these you know, biggest trees in the world, really, by volume. Um, and in the process of thinking about doing that and researching it, and understanding how to plant them and where they grow, what the climates are appropriate, I came across a very interesting article by a team of guys at Dewhurst, uh -huh. Dew Harvest, sorry, and it talked about the carbon capture Yes. within a sequoia tree and they used an example of General Sherman mm -hmm. who's the largest by volume yeah. uh, giant sequoia in the world and the conclusion from his article was that a single giant sequoia can offset your carbon footprint for life for, a, for one person which obviously re-enthused me or you know, only served to get me more interested in the subject and I started thinking about whether we could do more of these and we're all faced with this, this same problem of climate change that's you know a result of increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and so surely one of the best tools to address that problem is to plant the tree that's the most able to sequester the most amount yeah. of carbon out of the atmosphere batteries gotcha. you know storing carbon for thousands of years while we're basically trying to get on top of the problem and let technology dig us out of this hole we're in now which is fossil burning for yeah. so, so you know you've got a combination of incredibly good at capturing a lot of carbon they're the fastest growing coniferous tree in the world, so they're, you know, if you're going to plant trees that you need to move quickly, these are a good choice. The volume per acre, once they're getting to full size, is incredibly efficient. They're very robust to weather, they're very robust to disease, they're very robust to bugs. Awesome. All in all, we think that's, you know, I, think that's I think, you know, and it, and it captures people's imagination. Yeah. You know, think of a tree, a legacy for people. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's what's beautiful. Something.